There's rumors coming down the pipe that the squad's gonna be split up after we leave Carantan. Hell, Corian even thinks we're going home. Wrong again, Sam. A few other guys have been talking about getting a farm or some land, some peace and quiet. God, not me. Last thing I want to do is live out my days alone after the shit I've seen. Well, it's not time for goodbyes yet. Not by a long shot. D-Day plus 8, 9.30. June 14th, 1944. Why in the hell did you bring back that busted piece of crap? Not sure. Seemed like the right thing to do. What are you gonna do? Bury it? I might. Knock off the chatter and fall in! Now, I'm not one for speeches, so I'll make this short. First, there's a Colonel Marshall here to interview some of you for General Eisenhower. Don't screw that up! Second, I've been in the Army a long time and in some pretty good units. But in all that time, well, I just want to say you guys did good. We lost some good men, but at the same time, we sent a message to Hitler and his boys that we're coming for him. That his days are numbered. Now I've got a promotion to make. Sergeant Hartsock, front and center. Second squad needs a new leader, and the responsibility is now yours. So on these stripes, or I'll cite you for being out of uniform. Sergeant Baker! Sir. You know this isn't over, right? Hell of a thing we've been through these last eight days. Welcome to the end of the beginning. Grab your gear, troopers! We've still got a war to fight! Third squad, you heard the man. Move out. That brings us to the end of Brothers in Arms. A really brilliant historic series, and we don't get many of these games anymore re revolved around the World War II genre. It's all COD, fast twitch shooters and things like that. And while I can get my World War II fix from Project Reality, this series just seems to have that, an almost vibe of respect that I really do enjoy about this. I'm probably going to jump the next series, the next game, because this, believe it or not, was quite buggy. Had to redo many episodes quite a few times. And I know the, is it Hell's Highway, was on a new engine with an updated system and a lot more features brought in that would make the game that much better. So I probably will be doing Hell's Highway in the next series. There's also news that. Gearbox are doing a current gen version, so that will be um, Brothers in Arms 3, as it were, although there have been expansions, but officially the new game on new generation, new engine, that's going to be amazing, and it definitely will be a series that I will be covering. I hope you've enjoyed this series, if you've been stuck with me through this series, fantastic, really, really enjoyed it, thanks for watching, subscribe, thumbs up some suggestions if there's any games or series that you'd like to see. In the meantime, all due respect to the troopers, everybody who lost their lives in World War II, the greatest of respect for you, we would be where we are because of you guys. And I'd like to say thank you. And that's it. That's all I need to say. You know what? Anyway, in the meantime, I've been Paraplays. This has been Brothers in Arms. I shall see you on the other side. As usual, you are dismissed.